Here we go, the transfers are done. We've started the season with a couple of cup victories and now it's time to get our league campaign underway. We're tipped to win this division. So, hopefully, we get off to a winning start. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to the start of Season 2 in Tier 8 to Greatness with Wroxham FC. As you can see, it's been a fantastic start so far. We haven't actually started in the league season, but we have back-to-back -back victories in the Cups. The Integro League Cup first round, we won on penalties. We should have won it a bit better than what we actually did, to be fair. We were um, XG, we were well ahead. We had more corners, more possession, more shots. But we couldn't put the game to bed. A late equaliser took the game to penalties. We missed our first one, but we held out and kept our nerve to finish on top. Move through to the next round. And then we played Pinchbeck United in front of 603 fans at home in the extra preliminary round for the FA Cup. Again, we should have won it by more. XG of 1.87 to 0.86. 20 shots, 8 on target. Stokes and Andrew Gibbons put us 2-0 up. Cunningham then pulled one back just before the break. Hawkins and then second from Andrew Gibbons basically put the game to bed. And then we kind of went asleep a little bit and didn't really do much else for the rest of the game. But that's another victory. Now we get our league season underway away to Stockton. And the team for the first league game of the season is Matt Hall in goal. Pitcher, Wilder, Dickens, Wasma. You haven't actually looked at Wasma yet, so let's just have a quick look. Charlie Wasma comes in. I, I think it's pronounced Wasma. It could be Wasma. It could be Vasma. Not 100% sure, but... He's a three-star current ability, 32-year-old central defender, no-nonsense centre-back. He'll be playing as a central defender. He's six foot four. He's great in the air. And, yeah, he comes in. And we were looking at bringing in more depth, didn't, weren't we, for the um, centre-back positions. Well, we've brought in another starting centre-back instead. Sam Cox at defensive midfielder. Black and Andal Gibbons in midfield. Hawkins on the right. Sarmiento Ramirez on the left. And Stokes up front. I was going to start Curran Brown in this game. The new, the new star winger, but Hawkins has been absolutely brilliant in the two cup games, so I can't really drop him for this game. And here we go, the league season is underway as we take on Stockton away from home. Hopefully we'll live up to our billing as favourites to win this division and get off to a flying start. It looks like we might be on the attack. Stokes, pitcher, tries the ball over the top for Randall Gibbons, who heads it on. Hawkins latches on, and there's 1-0. 1-0 inside six minutes. Ryan Hawkins. I just literally just said that I couldn't drop Hawkins to give our new player a game because Hawkins was brilliant in the two cup games. And within five and a half minutes, six minutes, he's opened the score. And Randall Gibbons headed it on. The defence didn't react. Hawkins got there first, and that is 1-0. First league goal of the season. And things are going to plan so far. Although Stockton have got a corner here. Cook will look to swing one in and does so. And there, Simon Heslop jumps up and it's one all. Eight and a half minutes gone. Two goals already. Proper non-league football, this. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't react. He jumped with him. Looked to be taller, but... Oh well, Wasma will look to take the free kick. Plays it short to Pitcher, who plays a lovely little ball through to Andal Gibbons. And Andal Gibbons, 2-1, come on, to shy Andal Gibbons. Scored a couple of goals in the last game. Was suspended for the League Cup game. Scored a couple of goals in the last one, the FA Cup preliminary game. And there, latches onto a beautiful through ball from Pitcher. Roberts, the keeper, came for it, but Andal Gibbons was never going to be beaten. And here's Cook with another corner. Goes over the top, Sinclair, and that one is just wide. It looks like Stockton are going to look to um, hit us with set pieces, and Stokes should have scored, really, from there. It's a good save, and it'll be a corner. Andal Gibbons, Andal Gibbons, even, swings one in. Dickens went, went there but didn't get there. Now Stockton are on the attack. Brown swings one over to the far post. Woodcraft picks it up. And that's a good block. The defender got in the way in pretty much what was a what was an open goal. 
the defender hadn't put his foot in there, it would have been two all. I didn't I didn't look before where Stockton were predicted to finish. I'd have to go back and look at the last episode to see where Stockton were predicted to finish. But they look like a decent side, to be fair. We're playing with a positive mentality, so we are probably leaving a couple of gaps. But here's O'Neill and puts one over the bar. That was a great chance for Stockton to equalise. And they haven't. They are actually ahead of us on XG at the minute. Woodcraft looks to swing one in, but it gets blocked out. Although he's going to get a second try. Now defending still looks a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? To be fair, looks a little bit panicked on in there, like, and we haven't really got anyone forward. When we got the ball, it was put forward, but there was no one really there to pick it up. Looks all a little bit disorganised at the minute. I know we we have brought in nine new players. And there are several of them on the pitch for this game. They've had a couple of cup games, but it's going to take a little bit longer for the players to gel together and to play like a proper team. But I'm hoping we don't slip up and drop any points. Although, that was very poor defending there, very poor defending. was given away in midfield. Woodcraft had ages to look up. Have a look. look. Four defenders there and not one single one of them went with O'Neill or put, attempted to put their foot in to stop the ball being passed. Although three out of the four defenders are new players. So that is probably where we are going to struggle to start with while the team are gelling. We can't seem to mount an attack, though. That's another worrying thing. It's black. Can he find a pass? Cox. Go, goes long, but it's straight to the keeper. We made a great start to this game. And it's all gone a little bit near. Here's Andal Gibbons. Could have played the through ball to Stokes, but doesn't. Instead, there's a ball over the top, and Stokes, one on... Keeper makes a save. Now Black with a corner. Swings one in. It's cleared. And we are still well behind on XG. They've had nine shots, three on target to our seven. Well, we've hit the target three times as well, but Stokes. Look, he could have he could have Played the pass there, but he didn't. He hesitated and has gone backwards. Now Wilder, over the top. Stokes, he ain't going to beat, he ain't going to get to that. The defender clears it. Hawkins tries a cross, but it's cut out by Brownhill. And, mm. oh my God, what's he doing? Pitcher had an easy interception there. He's given it away. But they've gone. He's gone for the glory from miles out, and it's gone over the bar. And I'm not really happy with that first half. We were twice in front, but we've given that lead away. And to be honest, we ended that first half looking second best. And you can see from the XG match story that we were we were second best in that first half. And we need to improve that. I haven't made any changes at half time. I am looking at possibly doing it very, very soon though. Because there hasn't been a highlight yet. And we're still well behind on the XG. And I don't like it. We're red hot favourites to win this division. After the sign-ins. I know I said it before and I'm going to say it again. The players may need a little bit of time to gel. Let's make some changes. All right, I've got a couple of substitutions scheduled, but Stockton are going to have an attack before I get the chance to make them, and that's a save from Hall. And there are those changes. Curran Brown is on for Sarmiento Ramirez, and Malachi Reeve is on for Wasma. Wasma was looking complacent, wasn't playing very well. 
I thought I'd make that change in defence just in case, just so we don't make any more mistakes in, in the back. If we are going to slip up a little bit at the start of the season, then a point away from home is still going to be a decent result. But here's Curran Brown. Cuts inside, shoots. It's saved by Roberts and it did deserve a better finish than that. Black with the corner. Swings one in. Can we get someone up there? We can't. We've been beaten first time to any any balls in the air. Cox. Curran Brown. Cuts back inside but can't find a decent pass. And now Stockton are going to... No, they were going to look to hit us on the break. But the ball's been cut out. The highlight's over. And so is the game. That's a 2-2 draw for Roxham away to Stockton on the opening day of the season. And, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the greatest start to a league season. I am going to go and have a little look at the um, season prediction and see where Stockton are um, tipped to finish because they were a decent little side. Um, so I presume that they're one of the ones that are predicted to finish quite high. Because if they're one of the ones to finish predicted to finish low and we've just only scraped a 2-2 draw against them whilst being second best, then I don't really fancy our chances of promotion. I had a little look at the season preview, and Stockton are tipped to finish fifth. The media prediction is around about fifth. So, a 2-2 draw away from home against a team tipped to finish in the top six on the opening day of the season, with new players who are still gelling as a team, isn't a bad result. But now we take on Goulston at home and Goulston are tipped to do quite poorly. I mean, they're 50 to 1 to win the league. They're tipped to sort of finish in that bottom sort of six, seven places. So we should, by rights, be winning this game quite easily. I've kept the same team as what played last time. The only change I've made is I've put Sarmiento Ramirez as an inverted winger rather than a winger on support because... It seems to be a better role for him and hopefully it will get a little bit more out of him because he was very poor in that last game and he was poor in a couple of cup games before that as well. We're underway and hopefully we will get off to a good start. Because Galston are predicted to do poorly. So we should be winning this game comfortably. If we're going to be um, challenging at the top end of the table home games especially like a team games against teams near the bottom especially at home we should be winning comfortably although Galston are on the attack here and Hall has to make a save early on to keep us in the game he's going to have to make another one as well but he doesn't and Connor Ingram has given Galston a 1-0 lead inside 6 minutes And that is not the start I wanted. Definitely not the start I wanted. Again, the defence. I'm going to have to move them back, I think. They're getting, they're getting caught out of position too much. I don't know if it's because I've got them too far forward. I just said I think I've got the defence too far forward. So what did I do? I've got to move them more forward. <laughs> He's Stokes, who's broke through. Come on. Yes. Tony Stokes. Fourth goal of the season. I think it's his first league goal of the season because he didn't score in the last league game. And we are back level. Yeah, um, my thinking is what we we had a standard we had a standard um, defensive line with a low block, and yeah, we were caught out of position a few times in the last game. We were caught out of position early in this one. So what I what I'm thinking about doing is if I play a higher press. Um, a higher defensive line with a higher press. And here's Hawkins, who should, he should have scored there, but the ball is out for a corner. Yeah, if I play a higher line with a higher press, then hopefully, even if we do get caught, we'll, we'll have those players forward. So when we do get possession, possession back, there'll be more players forward to try and hit them on the counter. Because we noticed in the last game that when we got the ball, there was no one forward. So hopefully we'll be able to transition quicker if we're playing a higher defensive line. That's my thinking. 
It might all go tits up in a minute, but it might work, so we'll see. Galston are going to go on the attack, though, and Wilder cuts it out. Black. Can he find a pass? He does to Stokes, who goes out wide, but cuts it back to Black, and Black! Oh. Shot just wide. We're not dominating this game like I wanted to. But here's Black with a free kick, and that's a good save by their goalkeeper. Very, very good save by their keeper. The free kick was well hit going in the corner. We reach half time still level. It's not ideal. They've had more shots than us, they've had more possession than us. And we need to do something because we're not looking like teams we're not looking like a team that are favourites to win this division. Well Curran Brown on for Hawkins. And I think Sarmiento Ramirez will probably go off as well. I changed his role hoping that he'd play a bit better. And he's been poor again. 6.2 so far. Very, very poor. He's black. On the edge of the area. Finds Sarmiento Ramirez and he's shot. He's extremely weak and basically just passes it back to the keeper. Let's take Sarmiento Ramirez off and bring on Nana Adakwa for his first appearance of the season. And hopefully he'll come on when it's still... No, he, won't, he won't come on when it's still level because Connor Ingram has given Galston a 2-1 lead. I think I might have to start shouting. Again, there was four defenders around him and he gets up to the header. I looked at defenders that are a little bit taller, that have a little bit more jumping reach and heading ability. I'm going to demand more. Black plays a great ball to Curran Brown. Can he find a killer pass? He finds Stokes, and that is a penalty. Stokes has been brought down in the box, and it's a penalty to Roxham. Harry Pitcher steps up, shoots, scores, 2-2. Pitcher was automatically selected as a um, penalty taker. I don't think I've got any penalty takers select. I might have Pitcher sele selected. I'm not 100% sure, to be fair. Didn't really look. But Pitcher missed in the penalty shootout in the cup game at, um, on the first day of the season, or the first game this season. But he makes no mistake there, and it's 2-2. Now, can we look for a winner? To be honest, another draw isn't the best result here. Galston are a team tipped to struggle. I know we were a team tipped to struggle last season, and we didn't, but Galston are a team tipped to struggle. And if we're going to live up to our billing as favourites to win this league, we should be winning games like this. And we should be winning them quite comfortably. I mean, there's only so many times I can use the it's a new team, it's new players as an excuse. But Curran Brown breaks into the box. Brown shoots and it's tipped wide by the foot of the Galston goalkeeper. Now Black will look to swing in another corner here. Does. Can we actually win something in the air? Cox. His shot doesn't trouble the goalkeeper. And it looks like we're going to have to settle for another point. We're still unbeaten. We are still unbeaten this season. But we are yet to win a league game. We're through in both cups. But yet to pick up all three points in a league game. Our XG was three. We had 12 shots, 6 on target. It, we turned it round and we were the better team in the end, but we had to rely on a Harry Pitcher penalty to get us back into the game. And that is not the ideal result, to be honest. Disappointed. As the team who are favourites to win the division, along with Matlock Town, we currently sit 12th place after two games. Yeah, it's not it's not nothing to worry about just yet. It's nothing to worry about. We are unbeaten. We are a new team. We are new players gelling into a new team. So I'm not going to panic just yet. But 
We need to start getting results. We need to start winning games in the league. We may not have won a game, but we are still unbeaten. <laughs> it's a positive. We need to take that into the next games and beyond and beyond and beyond. We've got the FA Cup preliminary round against Leverhead next. Then we play Cleethorpes at home. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna. I want while we're down at this tier. I want to try and get these um, seasons played as quickly as possible. I don't want to come back every couple of weeks and show you games against teams like Livers Edge and Wickham. But um, I will play quite a chunk off camera. I'm probably going to look to come back around about the Matlock Town game because they are the team who are tipped to be challenging us for the title. So hopefully by that point, that's sort of the end of October time, coming towards the end of October time, hopefully by that point we'll have a good a good idea of our starting 11, our best starting 11. I may have brought some new players in by that point or got rid of some. Um, and hopefully we'll be top of the league and looking to beat Matlock just to increase our lead. That's the plan. It could all go tits up. I mean, last season we've done a whole lot better than we were expected to do. So there is the possibility we could do worse this year. That's going to wrap up another episode of Tier 8 to Greatness with Roxham FC. Hopefully, we'll um, go on a bit of a run of wins now in between in between episodes, and you'll come back and join me as we look to run away with the division. But, yeah, it might not happen that way. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join me again real soon. If you did like this episode, please do hit the like button, comment below to say hi, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.